A rainbow coalition has been born ahead of the 2016 elections. Under the Democratic Alliance flagship, the opposition plans to fill the single candidate in the 2016 election and form an interim government. We have also agreed to jointly fill the candidates for all elective positions in Uganda from the levels of Member of Parliament, LC5 chairpersons and councillors, city and municipal mayors. There are many people within NRM who associate themselves to the progressive forces that are trying to promote good governance like in this country. Under the stewardship of eminent elders and civil society leaders, this meeting was a climax of a rigorous process to arm out the sticky issues and find consensus ahead of the general elections. Like a team working in tandem, the political party leaders said they had learned from their past mistakes. We intend to walk a path where we we'll subject our individual interests, we we'll subject the interests of the individual organizations to the larger good. We should not use our individual ambitions. And that's what I, I want to say even in the summit, individual ambitions out. At the gathering, the presence of former DP president Paul Kawanga Semo Gerere, a respected politician and retired bishop Zach Nerinjie and Mark Leod Ochola gave the function impetus. Former Vice President Professor Gilbert Bukenya also attended and signed the protocol on behalf of the pressure for national unity. Former Premier Mama Mbabazi sent a close confidant and sister-in-law, former Agriculture Minister Hope Mwesje, to represent him. We have been associated with this process as the NRM Propositive Change Pressure Group. Whereas she did not sign the protocol, Mwesje says Mbabazi supports the coalition, which is yet another hint that he will seek the presidency. Many of our principles have been out of the country. They are now in the country. So we'll take a process of consulting formally with them so that we get the right signatories to sign the protocol. We have spoken this morning to uh, the Honorable John Patrick Amama Mbalanzi about this and he has pledged that he has done before publicly that he is ready to cooperate and work with all those who seek for progressive change. Leaders of the FDC Party, Conservative Party, Democratic Party, People's Progressive Party, and Jema, among others, signed the protocol. This is not the first time that the opposition in Uganda is coming together to form an alliance against the current regime. But could the opposition have learned nothing and forgotten nothing? And protocols and all kinds of agreements have been made in this country. The test is yet to come. The Uganda People's Congress did not sign the protocol as the party continues to grapple with the Otunu transition crisis. This constitutes a major policy issue which requires discussion and mandating by the National Council of UPC. The coalition's main decision-making body, the summit, will sit next week to select names of the National Candidate Committee which will be tasked with coming up with the procedures on who should be the candidate. Shilandu Chere, NTV.